fresh news off the presses, Google in the AI world, they combined AI and robotics. Similar to the way that it's being uh, GPT-3 GPT and large language models are being used to generate text and understand and make inferences and do logic and things like that. Uh, Google has now integrated a language model into uh, a robot. And with that robot, what happened was the researcher from Google in a demo said something like, I'm hungry. And without telling the robot explicitly what to do, the robot knew to go to the little snack area and pick up a snack and give it to the person who said they're hungry. Uh, and it looks like they picked up a, a chocolate instead of, instead of apple. Yeah, yeah. And that, that, that's, that's pretty crazy because we, we know that, you know, robots have always been able to do kind of crazy stuff. Like Boston Dynamics has all these robots that can do somersaults, for example. But the hard part has always been uh, for robots to actually understand what you're talking about. And that, that's why I'm really excited about the Tesla Optimus bot. Because uh, people might say, well, what's the, what's the big deal about Optimus bot that, you know, Boston Dynamics can already do somersaults and this, this obviously cannot do somersaults. But I think the big deal about it is um, two things. One is uh, if Tesla can solve the problem of making a lot of these, you know, like a Boston Dynamic robot might, might cost $5 million or more. But if, if this can be mass produced and basically everyone can have one, almost like having a car. And on top of that, the robot could be intelligent, then that could change everything. That can change, you know, the way we live. It, it could, you know, mow the lawn for you, wash the dishes. It, it could just do everything and it would completely transform society much like how the um, iPhone has changed society. Yeah, that's interesting. So I, I definitely see the point there of Tesla having an advantage in the, you know, the manufacturing, the scaling production. But how does it, you know, how does Tesla have an advantage in the AI portion? You know, I, I understand they can navigate from point A to point B, get a stream of video data and navigate around this uh, real world obstacles and things like that in a much smarter way than your Roomba vacuum that always bumps into stuff. So I understand that. But there's a large part of a robot executing commands that comes from understanding language, right? Like you say like, hey, I'm hungry. And the robot knowing that. And it seems like Google has an advantage there because they are used to like dealing with language and dealing with text and understanding yeah. and interpreting all that. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I think that's a good point because uh, we can just ask our Google Home for for things, and uh, this was a Google robot after all that understood what it was it was doing. Um, but I thought that a quote from Andre Karpathy, who uh, who was the head of AI at at um, Tesla, what he said was very interesting is that. 10 years ago, people used to have separate silos for AI. Someone used to go into it for vision, someone else for speech, someone else for, um, you know, all these different things, you know, uh, whatever the, the field may be. But now all the papers are consolidating together. And then the methods are all consolidating. You basically just feed the AI data and it knows what to do. So I think even if... Um, you know, Google might have speech and all this other stuff. In the end, um, if a robot were to know what to do, it, it would like basically take in everything. It would take in the video data, take in the tactile data of what it touches. It would take in sound and speech and everything. And there isn't a clear advantage on Google's end uh, in that realm. It's basically whoever's the best at AI. And I think Tesla's on track to be the best in AI. That's super interesting. Yeah. I'm curious to hear what, what other people think in the robotics space that Tesla is going into uh, AI day coming up in, in a month or so. They're going to reveal more about Optimus. What do you guys think? Is Tesla kind of poised to be the leader there? Or is, going to be, is there going to be fierce competition from Google, Boston Dynamics? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and subscribe for more.